Um, yeah, so what we're going to do today, we talked uh, online a little bit about irons, you know, making sure those mid irons, when you get back onto the golf course, you know, you want to, you know, improve the sort of nine, eight, seven, six iron ratios so that you can obviously start scoring in the low, uh, mid to high 70s. So if we're going to have a look at that, we'll just warm up, if you don't mind, with a few seven irons and we'll just have a a little look through. So if you just hit me two or three shots from that angle, I'm just down the line at the moment so I can see what I'm looking for is obviously the swing path, the ang uh, the backswing position at the top, which obviously affects the, the direction of a golf shot and, uh, and then always the pace of the swing. Yeah, it looks good. Good shot. Yeah, good shot. Okay, Pat, yeah, so we've we've come, you know, I've gathered information down the line. I can see the swing path, see the, 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 the direction the club's being swung. What we're just going to have a look at now is this angle, which you wouldn't normally be able to stand at because obviously we're just slightly ahead of the golf ball. And as a coach, you'd want to keep in line with the ball for safety reasons. But obviously using f a phone, uh, or a camera, we can just slightly just get in front and give us gives us a a great line angle to see both the setup position front facing and obviously the swing path coming through the ball into the finish, which obviously is the ultimate uh, gives the ball the ultimate direction it's going to start in, um, and from that point, obviously, it gives us an idea of the consistency we're going to get. Pat, if you could just ready to hit two or three shots down, obviously we've had. A bit of chat in between the other shots. Uh, we're just showing you now how a lesson could look. Yeah, it's a good swing. That makes sense. Mm, yeah, yeah. I could have been if I tried. That's a better one. Mm. That finish position with the high hands, I'm mm. not forcing that. That's where it wants to be for some reason. Yeah, yeah. No, it looks good. We're certainly getting through the ball. It's well balanced and it's, there's, you know, an efficiency of energy and you can see that you know over forcing the shot it's a swing the ball gets collected up yeah it feels so balanced yeah hi pat okay yeah so we've hitting some good shots today let's just work on a few of the fundamentals we're always going to check the grip if we can just if you can face the camera and just put your left hand and right hand on because we're always working on fundamentals like all players do so I can say there, left and right hand, as it, we work quite hard on the grip. So we can see there we've got, you know, the left thumb. If we just leave the left hand on to start with, just the left. Yeah, we can see the thumb just across to the right side of center on top of the grip, which is perfect. And we could see that we've got, I'm sure you can see at least two knuckles on, on the left, left hand. And then the right hand, right hand just fits in yeah 
So we can see we're covering the whole of the left thumb with the palm of the right hand. And we've got, if we take off the thumb and trigger finger, just to prove that they're not gripping tight, that's it. And then we just squeeze them round the club just to give us a feel like we would hold the golf ball if we were throwing it, trying to throw it a long way. So the grip is always a fundamental. The next one is obviously the, the posture. So if we go side on to the camera, Pat, that's it. So we just get a posture line. So we're trying to create a nice hang. The arms are hanging straight off the shoulder line down. The hands are underneath the chin and the inside the chin. So they're not being pushed away from the body, causing poor balance. And we can see there the weight distributed on the feet. You know, with a nice knee flex, the weight is more towards the balls of the feet, not sat back on the heels and certainly not push forward so we're almost grabbing onto the ground with the toes so we can see a nice posture if we just swing back slowly from there pat all the way to the top of the back swing we can see the arms initiate arms and hands and get us into a good position the knee flex retained knee flex in that right leg and then from there obviously we're set to make a progressive swing towards the finish we're building up momentum to out to a final finished position, which we hold for one, two seconds. We have a few swing cues within there, which Pat, each player has their own different swing cues. Some are the right knee touches the left knee, the club over the left shoulder touches the, 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 the cal on your, on your jersey. Um, and as I said, we build up those personalizing. Obviously, everyone's swing is slightly different or feels slightly different. So we build that up through obviously having multiple sessions and keeping that information for us to be able to, to use, you know, uh, when we're referencing each person's goal swing. Yeah, it's a good swing. Yeah, just keep those going. They're really good swings. Those, fantastic. Yeah, okay, Pat, let's just do a couple of swing drills finishing off. Um, if you want to put um, an alignment stick down or a club down, so always make sure you're doing these exercises with an alignment alignment A down uh, because obviously whilst we, we net practice, the, the beauty of net practicing is we can do everything in a perfect condition. You know, we're not... We're not on a slope like on a golf course or we're not, um, you know, hitting across lines on dog leg holes. This is a perfect scenario. So obviously we take advantage. So if you just want to set yourself up, make sure everything's square to that alignment club. So feet, knees, hips, shoulders. And then we go into the preset position, which is if you want to preset that and the club, your club should be parallel. So go into a preset position there. Does that mean preset so yeah so the club your club there should be parallel to the club on the ground so if you let it let the club come up a little bit more so it's 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 perpendicular see how you yours your club yeah yeah and that's a little bit inside so like let it stay parallel to that alignment club and then from there just Swing the right, let the right shoulder turn back and the club will find its own way to the top of the swing slowly. Yeah. Make sure we always do these exercises slowly because there's, there's no rush. Getting paid by the minute. Yeah. All the way through to the finish. That's it. And then just, yeah, balance. Always work on balance, even, even when we're doing a practice drill. Yeah. That's it. So, I mean, what I would say is if you can make five or 10 swings like that, they will feel like you are working out because obviously you're concentrating as well. So that would be a good. So if you just set yourself up again, part into that set up position, and then we're just going to do again, if we then just, Preset the club in front of you. So we're just going to hinge the wrists and the club going to be about 45 degrees just above horizontal or perpendicular. And from there, keeping your eyes looking at a point where the ball could be or would be, 
just turn the right shoulder back and that'll preset the position. That's it. And then from there, just slowly through to the finished position because we're trying to just rehearse mo the motion of a swing rather than make a goal swing. And that'll give us all the balance points, you know, where the weight is on the feet when we finish, all the little cues that tell us we've made a good swing.